My Wild Wild West, it was never a show, it was an educational experience. And I greatly enjoyed announcing to my audiences. Today, I'm happy to be back in the Leavenworth area from Denver, where I'm currently residing. <laughs> I sense this is probably one of my last times back. I'm not getting any younger. But I've had a lot of questions about what it was like to live in this area when I was just a young boy. So without any further ado, I thought I would share with you a little bit of my background. Because, you know, I didn't come from here, I came from Iowa, on the Mississippi River, LeClaire, Scott County, not very far from Davenport. In fact, my father Isaac and my mother Mary Ann uh, ran a stage line from Davenport to Chicago and back. And my father was also extremely active in politics as a Whig and an abolitionist. Um, he'd even had some hopes of leading a group of homesteaders out to the west. Even actually got started. And within a day it fell apart and he had to come back and he was greatly chagrined over that. But I think the incident that caused us as a family to leave Iowa was based upon my older brother, Sam. Sam, I looked up to so much. He was about seven years older than me. He was also a fine horseman. And we were supposed to, I'll oh, listen to the chimes. <laughs> we were supposed to go tell father something, I had a message, and so we both rode our horses uh, to his office, but on the way, my brother, who was on a mare that our mother had told us he should never ride because she was just too mean, saw that we were passing the school just as the kids were coming out, and we decided, we, he decided to show off his horsemanship. And when he took off, the mare reared up and fell back on him, crushing him. And they took him to a, a neighbor's home. I went on to my father's office to tell him what had happened, and he came back. The word got to our family, and by the next morning, uh, Sam had passed on. And this really, really hurt my father. And he decided maybe it was time to get a new beginning. So they decided to move as a family to Kansas. But fortunately, they had a secure base of operations to move to initially. We came by wagon and carriage across Iowa and Missouri to Weston. My father's uh, brother, Elijah, was the most successful businessman in Weston, had several farms, had several businesses in town, and we decided that the family would stay on one of his farms just outside the city, while my father went over into Kansas to dis determine what opportunities there might be. So he uh, did so, had the opportunity to talk with the Indian agent of the Kickapoo Nation, which is just uh, a little north of the Fort Leavenworth. And in talking with him, it was decided that he would build a trading post for the Indians. And that would be our family's new career. So he came back to tell us this and then went back to start readying a place and um, 
got some goods, started trading, even though he didn't have everything built yet. Well, one day he comes back to Weston to tell me that he had bought me not one, two ponies. Now, I was about eight years old. This was uh, 1853. Uh, and I had longed to have my own horse or pony uh, for some time. I'd always ridden uh, families' uh, horses, but I'd never had one of my own to take care of. And now I was going to have two. <coughs> I was really excited. My father took me with him. We crossed the river, we came to Fort Leavenworth just in time to see a full military parade. It was wonderful. Oh, the bugles and the drums and the soldiers in their uniforms standing just so, so straight and proud. And when they moved, they moved all together. Never seen anything quite like that.